<laughs> good morning everyone hope you're having a very fine uh, morning yourself and like i say good morning from the riviera although i don't know if it's still technically the riviera when you, with the riviera the riviera when you're in monaco but nevertheless as always good morning to you one and all and welcome to what is an absolutely fantastic morning uh in monaco so what are we going to talk about today well We've had some interesting news today coming from the Green Party. They are very, very excited that they are potentially about to take Bristol City Council. Now, what they seem to be doing, from at least what I can tell, is they are trying to take there as a local area, which, okay, fair enough. Greens always do well when it comes to local councils, local politics. They've always traditionally done that incredibly well. However, when it's come to national politics, that is where they tend to have really sort of fall down, unfortunately. And obviously they've only got one MP in Parliament, that's Caroline Lucas. But Lucas herself has a pretty big name backing her. And what a lot of people have said continuously over the past couple of years is, look, stand down in Brighton Pavilion, Lucas, and stand somewhere else. Put that name to the test somewhere else. See if it works. And not only that, but see if the Greens can hold, I think it's Brighton Pavilion, uh, her seat is, with someone else, potentially. Not only do you increase the potential number of green MPs, but you also increase the standing of the party as well. And if, if, of course, the Greens do manage to take Bristol, could this be potentially the seat that Lucas could go to and actually try that out? Now it's possible, it's entirely possible, that may not be the case, but the Greens are very, very excited about trying to take City Council. There could also be another reason behind this as well. There's, we've seen, obviously, the creation of these um, sort of super councils that have been created, these big combined authorities. So we've got, like, the South Yorkshire combined authority, where there's a West Yorkshire, East Yorkshire, and, of course, there's the North Ties, uh, North Tees, uh, valley, valley combined authority that we've seen as well so there's also rumors that area down in cornwall could potentially be coming one as well so if that is true could the greens potentially being successful in taking bristol also try and use that as a momentum boost to try and become the regional city mayor controllers as well because this is another area where so far we've seen them be active but they haven't really shall we say wowed people certainly with their results that's that's for sure will they succeed along the further lines of this time will tell um but certainly i for one would like to see lucas move somewhere else and certainly use her name and her branding to see if she could well win somewhere else and of course increase the number of green MPs which again wouldn't be a bad thing so as always welcome and good morning from well <laughs> somewhat cold at the moment Monaco but trust me once the sun gets up over here uh, it is going to be absolutely a cracking day I've got a full day ahead of me of uh, some JCI stuff today so I'm looking forward to go and do that and as always guys uh, like I say we'll probably be doing a uh, a bit of a live stream out along here as, as well at some point unfortunately the rest of monaco is obscured by those trees but never mind <laughs> but as always guys uh thank you very much as always for joining and of course we'll see you all very soon